Hello, hello everybody. My name is New Fox, and welcome to Cult of the Lamb. I was looking for something a little bit different today to play, uh, to get away from Doom Eternal, just to kind of spice things up a little bit, and I wanted to use it as an excuse to play Cult of the Lamb again. As you can see, I've already played through a 56-day file over here. I actually, this was a file that I streamed on Twitch, and I beat the game on the second hardest difficulty. I think there's only four difficulties, but... And I was super proud of that, but... I wanted an excuse to play it again, because <laughs> this is such an awesome game. Praise the Lamb, conduit to great power, promised liberator of the one who waits below. Yet sacrificial beasts take heed, for a crown cannot sit upon two brows. Fancy foreshadowing there. Ah, here we go, back into it. God, this is such a, such a good game. Just fun to play. Starts off so solemnly with like the walk up to the to getting executed. <laughs> Kneel to be sacrificed. Before us stands the last of its kind, all others we have hunted down and put to the blade. With this final sacrifice, the prophecy will be impossible to fulfill. A heretic who lies bound below will be condemned to eternal captivity, and the old faith shall be preserved. I didn't even do anything, man! Ah, well. You had a good run, little buddy. Hey, what's up, dude? Come closer, fear not, for though you are already dead, I still have need of you. Those foolish bishops thought they could keep you from me in death, but instead they sent you straight to me. I will give you life again, but at a price. All I ask is for you to start a cult in my name. Do we have a deal? Yes or absolutely? I'm gonna say absolutely. I am 100% down for more of this game. Let's go. You're going to regret giving me that power later, buddy. I can tell you that right now. I'm back, baby. Hi right there. Almost rolled right past you. Might take me a little bit to get my chops back for this game. It's been a hot minute since I played it. Hi, friend! Fear not, I am Ratao. I was once a chosen vessel like you, but those days are lost to the winds. I was sent to guide you. We are deep in the lands of the old faith and in grave danger. My instructions are to lead you to safety. Continue through the woods. Escape lies ahead. I will be close by. First of all, hand, you come back. Second of all, if you could just use Dig to teleport out of here, why can't you take me with you? Give me an escape rope or something, man. That's okay, I'll rip and tear my way out of here. Toy, I got a coin. Nice. Gonna need a lot of those later. Coin? I'm gonna hit some of this grass too, because I know I'm gonna need grass later. Let's see. Yeah, let's go south. We got down here. More enemies? Cool. And nothing. I don't think I can pick up grass yet, though. More coins. Oh no, they're about to sacrifice that guy. We have nearly reached safety, but look ahead. Another, po another poor soul about to be sacrificed. Rescue them, and they have no choice but to join your new cult. I'm sure, they have plenty of choice. Almighty oh, bishops of the old faith, we ask you to accept the sacrifice of this wretched soul. Who interrupts our ritual and trespasses on sacred ground? Me, bitch! What you gonna do? Well, I ain't doing nothing. 
You ain't doing nothing. Lame. Hi, new friend. Follower awaits indoctrination. Nice. We have reached safety. You have done well. The Red Crown will allow you to use those markings on the ground to transport yourself great distances. Take you to a temple that has fallen to ruin. There you will be able to begin your new cult. We'll meet you there. Let's go! No damage bonus, plus 50%. Nice. Click difficulty. Hmm. Well, as you saw on that last file, I beat it on hard, so I'm gonna go extra hard. I'm gonna take the challenge. This hollow ground, which once was mine, is now yours. This crumbling ruins to be the site of your new cult. We have much to do. We begin by indoctrinating this poor soul into the warm embrace of your cult. Father, followers can gather resources. Order this one to collect lumber or stone. I just got here and I'm already putting you to work. What are your traits? You are against sacrifice, natural skeptic. I'm recruiting follower, immediately lose 10 faith. <laughs> Great. Generates devotion 15% faster. That seems kind of oxymoronic, but sure. Welcome to the team. Give me some wood. By your hand, our cult will go powerful, but your followers cannot live on prayer alone. They must eat. Gather the necessary resources and build a cooking fire. We'll allow you to prepare meals for your followers. Got it, gamer. I'll pick some berries to cook, though. And so this is the second half of this game. You got the the combat portion where you go out and gather followers and resources and complete the storyline, and then you got this fun base building part. It's such a cool like mix of gameplay elements, and it blends together really well. We are gonna put this... Uh, right... I can't put that there. You are in the way! You're halting progress! Oh, I can't put it. <laughs> I can't put it on that path. Okay, never mind. Yeah, yeah, like, right, because that's where the totem goes. <laughs> like I said, it's been a while. Prepare food here. Alright. Now he won't starve to death. Now he must build a shrine, but first we'll need more followers and more gold. Both of which can found in the lands of the Old Faith. Our mutual benefactor, the one who waits, has been trapped by the four bishops of the Old Faith. Each of them guards a chain that binds them to the realm beyond. We have conjured openings to their realms. It is your task to track them down and slay them so that he may be freed. Now go, there you should find gold and willing recruits, and those for those who are not willing, convert them by force. <laughs> Painfully. Gather this real quick. Up, let's go. Dark wood. First dungeon, let's do it. Oh god. <laughs> I forgot, the higher difficulty you play on, the less, the less hearts you get. On the hardest difficulty, you get one heart. Oh, that, this is gonna suck. Oh. Alright, dodge, duck, dick, dive, and dodge. Come on, remember the five Ds of dodgeball. It will serve you well in these trying times. Do like Doom Eternal, never stop moving. Yep. 
take that money. I'm gonna get this buff. What's up, tarot card man? Praise the Lamb, conduit to great power, promised liberator of the one who waits below. So the card showed me once, many lifetimes ago, or has that yet to be? I've always drawn your cards, Lamb, and yet this is the first. Take these cards and I will draw another each time we meet. When drawn by me, they will grant you power. What power? Well, that is both known and unfathomable. The cards they shall decide. A plus one heart, yes. I know I just turned away loot luck, but I really don't care. I'd rather not die. <laughs> I hate I hate the bats. They're the way they charge at you just the worst. Oh sweet. Alright, skull necklace. Follow where we're living unnaturally long life. Cool. Ooh, bushes. I will take free food. Yes, please. Thank you. And so if you can't already tell, each run through of a dungeon is randomly generated. So. This time I got I got uh, berry bushes. Next time I could have gotten a follower or more fighting. Who knows? That's part of what keeps it fresh. Keeps it fun. Keeps it cool. Alright, mini boss time. And of course, this is an early game, so the levels are pretty short. But we gotta fight our way there first, I forgot. Ah. That was my one freebie. <laughs> ah, another buff. Go ahead and get the better loot spawn. I won't get much out of it, but we'll get something. Ow. Ah, no. You wanna go, tough guy? How can this be? You were put to the blade, lamb, as all your kind were, and yet here you stand before me, unrepentant. The crown is power, could it be? But I am stronger still, turn tail and run, little lamb. Mm, no. Hey, who's your friend? You've come far enough, little lamb. My followers are willing to do anything for me. Can you say the same of yours? You mean my one follower? I give myself to the cause, O oh mighty leader. By the blood of the great ones, destroy the red crown. What you doing there, buddy? Oh, God. You got ugly. You're mine now. You belong to me. Let's see, what reward do I want? I want the lumber. Lumber is gonna be a pain to get later. No damage from boss bonus plus twenty percent on new items. Nice. So if you go the whole the whole dungeon without taking damage, you get fifty percent bonus. But if you just manage to clear the boss without taking damage. You get 20% on which is awesome. I'm relieved to see you made it safely and you have not returned alone. You have convinced more to join our faithful flock. Let's indoctrinate this new convert so that we may continue. Oh, you have two negative traits, of course. Gain faith when building better sleeping quarters. Lose five faith when another follower dies and generates devotion 15% slower. Wow, you suck, don't you? Oh my. Followers will either work or worship. Worshipping followers generate devotion. But to collect devotion, you require a shrine. Let's build one then. You can only build it right there. 
I kind of wish you could move it around, but it's kind of the centerpiece, so I get it. Praise be, your followers can now worship you. Here's a new follower. Assign them to worship at the shrine. The devotion generated unlocks by divine iteration. Blah, blah, blah. Some fancy kind of XP. I'm recruiting. Game immediately gain 10 faith. Heals 15% slower when sick. You get to worship me. Collect devotion from your shrine. Once you collect enough, you'll unlock divine inspiration. More followers worshiping, the faster they fill it up. If the shrine is full, they will stop worshiping until it's empty. Once you've collected a divine inspiration, unlock new buildings through the shrine. Like temple. And we build that real quick. I don't have enough stone for that. Return with stone. Where do we put it? Put a nice, not, a big fancy open space right there. It's good to me. Now he has a temple. The temple is the center of your cult. From there you will preach sermons to grow stronger, perform rituals to mold the fragile mind of your followers. You're responsible for maintaining the faith of your cult. If it's too low, your followers will descend and eventually leave. Your followers are ready to hear your word. Preach a sermon. Now I've unlocked the faith meter, which is like a basically a happiness meter. Sermon. Give me all the EXP. Noise. With the faith of your followers, you go stronger. Performing sermons will draw power from them and unlock you new abilities, weapons, and curses. Followers with a higher loyalty level will generate more devotion, more followers, more loyalty, more quicker you gain abilities. All that fun stuff. Permanently gain half a heart. Let's go. Please, God, give me the health. <laughs> I believe that's all we can do. You're amazing to behold, a natural leader. I see why you were chosen. If you're to give your cult, to guide your cult, you will need to declare doctrine so they might obey you. Turn to the land of the old faith and seek a commandment stone fragments. With these, you'll be able to declare new doctrines. Right. Well, that is gonna have to wait uh, until next time. I'm all out of time for this recording. Hope you guys enjoyed watching. This is a great game. I absolutely love it. I hope you guys like it too. If you enjoyed it, leave a like, let me know. Leave a comment, let me know what you think of this game. And as always, links to all my socials down below. TikTok, Twitter, Twitch, all that fun stuff. And I'll keep an eye out for more of this, as well as more Doom Eternal coming very soon. Thank you guys again so much for watching, and I will see you all in the next video.